Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. Thought I would do a market review, the QQQs, which at this moment right now are getting ready to blow at major reversal time over the high of the day. And guess what? We're in an uptrend, which I've been saying now for months. And we were red today. We were red this morning. I said, geez, I really didn't think we'd come down that much this morning. I was surprised. I thought we would not go anywhere with it. And we didn't. And we were an immediate buy as soon as we came into support. It was one of those strange looking things. Now let's go over why it happened. And in this moment here, as I'm doing this, they're doing this video, this is probably going to blow right over 28. Let's see. Anyway, so what happened was we gapped up this morning and there was tons of econ out at 830. And I said, you know what? I really think we're probably going to gap over this area. We didn't. So then what, if we did, we had, if we had, we would have been an immediate buy. We would have just blown higher. It could have bought it on a one minute high and been in. But we didn't do it. So then we were hanging loose here. And then we just went, doo, and we went, doo. and then there was some kind of news thing story that came out. And this, you know, these are things you're going to have to watch in the upcoming months here. All these things that are going on, the talk about things that are happening in the world with the possibility of, um, you know, war looming in, in uh, different areas of the world. So you do have to be on alert for different news things. Uh, however, really, we just came into support. So we dropped off a cliff when the news came out and got bought to support. Got bought right at support. Where is support? The low here was 76.05, really was 76. Here's the, an area, 76.04, and this number here, 76.03. So we came right down and just sat our butts right on here and bounced immediately, aggressively. At the time that the bar was solid red, I said in the live trading room, we're not going to close like this today. We're going to do a tail. I don't know what kind of body we're going to have with the body. It's either going to be a red body or a green body. But I said, we're going to have a tail today. We're not going to hold like this. We're not going to close with this big, jimongous red bar. We're not going anywhere. And we bounced immediately after set off support. And we actually failed on every one to five minute sell setup, which people were trying to short, which was not a good idea. We never even triggered on a 15-minute sell setup, so there was no 15 minutes to, to squish people out. And we're back up here at the high. We actually got one penny over it, I think. Two. Two pennies over it, but it's really this area here we have to get over. This is an exact example of something that I teach in really all my classes, but really go over in detail in the trends class. T shorting tops has absolutely no meaning, and people do it all the time. It is not a strategy, and everybody that's shorted this market top, everybody that I've been talking to that thinks the market is extended is going to get blown through here if you shorted this area thinking it was going to come in. Not one bearish gap has held in the last month. We are not coming in. We're in an uptrend. We're a higher. We're higher, and people that are waiting for the confirmation that didn't buy here, People are that are waiting for the confirmation that didn't buy here. People that are waiting for the confirmation that didn't buy here. People are waiting for more confirmation that didn't buy here. Although you can see people bought here and it got the lift. But after this, actually, people have been waiting, 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 waiting. This is the confirmation that people that are waiting for extra confirmation for a break over here will not wait any longer. And the market's going to blow when it gets over 28. So the target today is 78 in the queues if it breaks over. I don't know if it does it or not, but it is it's too early here to tell. We do have to do it like at major reversal time, though. We do have to do it sooner rather than later, and we'll see how we fare out. But we are holding in the middle of no man's land here, in the middle of the sky, and, and, and we're, we're going to do it right now here. I mean, I just can't see how we won't do it. <laughs> so the market was an immediate buy at support this morning. What time was it exactly? 10 o'clock. There it was. And many people wait to get over here, okay, wait to buy into here because they want the confirmation. And you could have done that. So you could have bought this here. It, 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 this was the best play. Or you could have waited here and bought it here and put the stop under here. It could have put it under this bar here. Either way, the market was a buy today. And then Facebook was a buy with the market, the best buy that you could have done with the market. These are all good. But you have to know what to do. Just because something has a red bar on the day doesn't mean you short it. Just like because something has a green bar on the day doesn't mean you buy it. You have to know what you're looking for in the chart. The market had a bullish gap up today. You don't short it. Okay? Yeah, the bullish gap up could have failed, but not when the market's in an uptrend. The likelihood of that happening is not likely. When bullish gaps tend to fail, it's because things are extended, 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 and people take profits. No one was taking profits today in anything. Some people tried to come in and short in here, or people that are chicken that don't think the market's going higher, and they get scared, scared that this is not going to go anywhere. Oh, I better get out of my lungs right here. I have another chance to do it. Let me cover. 
No, 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 no. The real power, the real people, the power money people, the people in control, the institutions are buying, buying, buying. And any chance to get in here more to buy, they'll do it. And there you have it. Beautiful show of institutional money in the market. I have no idea if we get over that area today or not. It is looking very likely. Either way, we will not trade today down to that low. We won't make it down to that low today at all. If we don't rally hard over the high of the day, we're going to close with some kind of body. The body could be green or the body could be red, in which case it's in this range in here. Like if we come down in here and do a buy setup into 2 o'clock and blow through the here's some major reversal time, that makes sense, or right now. Or we just close in this range, and then we're if we do that, we're probably just going to gap right up on Monday morning. We'll just gap straight up here on Monday morning. This is so bullish. Can you see the retreat? That this this huge thing here and this huge thing here. This is very bullish. This thing here completely retraced itself 100% in the blink of an eye without even hesitating or breathing. That's bullish. Buy strength, short weakness. The market is bullish. If you'd like more information or you want to learn how to read gaps, which is how I know how to read the market this well, then email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Learn how to read gaps to trade this fall and make money in the market, to read the market right. The class is next weekend, September 14th and 15th. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is a QQQ Reviews. Higher, 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 higher. Have a great weekend, everyone.